Close enough to go to jail for him. Okay. Close enough to go to jail for him. It is. I ain't gonna say close enough to go to jail for him. Mm -hmm. But I brought him. Because I, like I said, I prayed mm -hmm. about it. Like I said, okay. I want you to do the right thing to tell yourself here. Put your hands behind your back right now. Let's talk. Put your hands behind your back. This dog's gonna bite you. Do you understand? Anything on you that I need to know about? No, I didn't see. All right. Yep. Bring knees to your chest. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony what? Move on. Anthony, you heard it all? Move on. Anthony, are you hurt? No. Okay. All right. Good. Let me replay. You can for a sec? Yeah, I'm good. You want to go grab your car? It's tight. Okay, it's good. Put Justin in a second. Gave us a good run, man. All right. We don't have a TBD car over here, do we? Uh. All right, my driver's wearing a red shirt, red jacket. Um, passenger, I've got uh, light color pants, uh, maybe a dark top. Temple, six five sevens with the passenger. Ooh. Yeah, you just go grab your car real quick. So right now, man, you're just detained. You oh no, you're good. It. You're just detained for right now. So. Yeah. Just need a TBD car. Yeah, I was gonna so. say. Yeah, Red Top was definitely driving. We have the uh, the Red Top guy. Take a hoodie. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, Everyone, good job. Yeah, that's definitely his. We definitely have hands on the uh, the Red Top guy, right? Yeah, we got him. Hey, I already asked someone to just cover my base here. You're not hurt. No, you, don't, you don't need an ambulance or anything. What? Is she, uh... Yeah, she's getting her car. car. Okay. Yeah. You guys, I'm going to assume bad news in that backpack right there. Okay. Okay, not get in the room. It's the way. Yeah, it's TBD 10. I'm going to assume this is bad news in here. Which I never understood. Why grab it? You just leave it. Just leave it in the car. Yeah. 
It's like maybe I don't know whose it is. You grab it, you know whose it is. Yeah, exactly. You might hold the light for me while I look at it. There's some roaches crawling on it, so. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there are. Just kind of hoping that it's not like a roach nest in there and it's just kind of a maybe something that crawls from the ground or something. I don't know. Just being a little bit optimistic. It's going to be a gun, I think. Yeah, you know, the way it's kind of heavy in there. Uh, see it Point is. it out. See, there's a point down here and a brace down here. Somebody's on an AR pistol. All right, AR pistol. Yep. Guy, yeah, you know what? I can't do any different than that. It's probably right. I'll just go ahead and do the big reveal. Oh. oh. No, it was not. All right. Well. There's it feels like there's something to shake. Uh, just some shake, but I don't think there's anything else in here. I know they checked you. I'm just going to check you again, all right? All right. Okay. Set your bottom in for me first. Midnight That's what you Yeah, when you piped up, I was taking a from the house. Right. Let's check your feet in. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Go on east. Um, Driver had this one. Uh, passenger had the AK in the backpack. Uh, I, I was trying to figure that out. It's got like red little things on it, almost like they're sim munition rounds or something. Um, so we're going to hit him with resisting and trespassing in a conveyance. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm transporting the driver because I have to write out the flea and elude ticket um, for watch to charge him appropriately. For him, I we're going to have you transport him. Um, I guess technically we could transform them together. I, I ain't worried about it. We'll just go. We'll take them both. We got adequate staffing. It's not a big deal. Um, I mean, they're both going to yeah. be charged with eluding, right? Or okay. Yeah. Hey, big dog. Sorry, man. We uh, the other officer had to go back up there. I know he asked for your name and stuff. Uh, what, what's your first name, man? Jaden. How you spell that? Sorry, that's J A L Y A N. I'm sorry, dude, you're going to have to speak up a little bit. Okay. J-L? Okay, is there like a apostrophe or anything? Okay. J-L-Y-A-N? Okay. Middle name? Jamar? Shamar. That's S-H-A-M-A-R? Okay. And then last name? Sorry, dude, what? Gilbert? Easy enough. G I L B E R T. All right, and what's your date of birth, man? Is that your main one? Oh, that, oh we got you. The 274-2665 is your mom's. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Miss Ransom. Is this Miss Ransom? Yes. Hey, this is Officer Watch with the uh, Tallahassee Police Department. And um, I'm here with Mr. Um, Gilbert. Um, unfortunately, he's been arrested for um, stealing a vehicle here, and we were contacting you in reference to that. Um, so we wanted to talk to him about it, but we have to notify you, um, if you in case you want to come to the scene to talk about it. But um, it, how, how would you like us to do that? Do you want us? Do you want to be there when we talk to him, or do you just want us to go ahead and talk to him? Uh, I, I would like to be there. Yeah, no problem. Um, just give me a sec. I'm going to call you back in here in just a couple minutes. I'm going to drive over to where he's at, and then uh, uh, I'll, I'll let you know where we're going from here, okay? Hey, big dog. Hey, I'm going to have to have you step out real quick. I'm going to swap your can cuffs with mine, because those, those belong to FHP. So we're just going to swap them out. 
obviously again you're still not free to leave yet but just go ahead and step out and then just face the car I'll swap the cuffs out obviously it goes without saying you know don't don't do anything stupid okay go ahead and sit back in the car okay and by the way did you, did you have some green crocs I'll go get them for you or like they're like I don't know they like bubble ball things on them whatever you call them <laughs> I'll go get those for you I saw them up the way a little ways no. No. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him have him with you, present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights I've explained to you? Okay. Have you previously requested any law enforcement officer to allow you to speak to an attorney? Okay. Do you want to talk to me about what happened today? Okay. All good. Hello? Hey. No, ma'am. He's already been transported to the jail. So what's happening is he's being... Uh, arrested for trespassing in a stolen vehicle and then resisting. So it's two misdemeanors, but he'll, he'll he should have a bond and everything in a little bit. So what uh -huh. in, a it's in a stolen vehicle. So they were him and the other kid were well, they stole the vehicle and then were driving. Yes, ma'am. The other kid, the other kid's getting charged with the auto theft and all he that. He was driving. No, no, he was the passenger. No, the other. Kid. Oh, the other kid, yes, ma'am. So where were they? Driving around. Where did they get the vehicle from? Uh, over there, kind of like you know where like Appalachia Center is. Yes. It's around that area. Do you know what they were doing over there? How did they? Don't, no. Say, cause I was curious because the other kid, stuff. they live. Yeah. So I was curious on how they even got over there and the vehicle is stolen from over there yeah it was stolen from over there yeah, so how did they even get to the vehicle yeah that, that's the biggest thing because i was thinking it was maybe someone who got out of Appalachia center or something but they said that's the other kid said he was from monticello was, how the heck Both did he of even them are. yeah and now one of them have a car yeah so i'm not so if they get if he get a bond tonight he yeah. can get out tonight yeah yeah so i'm i don't know unless he has some like weird history or anything like that you know assuming he's not on probation or a pre-trial release or anything so then yeah he should because it, it's just two misdemeanors so he should get out tonight and you caught him here yeah so they're right out there so how so, far but like how far yeah from where you got them they just jumped out of the car and maybe, ran yeah say yeah so they they were following them the entire time so it was maybe like a hundred yards from here to say if that okay thank you does does anthony have your number just in case he needs he it he has his mom's okay, number okay so um, will he be able to call yeah they, they should yeah once he gets booked in and everything they'll, how they'll long does it usually take i can't give you an honest answer but maybe three to four hours depending on the situation okay. yeah okay. so they're gonna get booked in and everything yeah i can't give you an honest answer but maybe three to four hours maybe i can I can't tell you exactly because um, I don't work the booking process or anything, but I, I probably around three to four hours but potentially. But he will be released though. Yeah, assuming there's no other fact. If he, if this is like the first time he's been arrested or you know, it's, it's like he's he's not on probation or parole or anything like that, then yeah, he should get a bond tonight because it's just two misdemeanors. Did they have IDs on them? No, they, I don't think so. I know the other one didn't, but. So no. how they just told you their yeah, name. Yeah, okay. we didn't do that, and they were found out through like uh, they looked online for their IDs and stuff. So you were the one, one that caught them. Them. I wasn't the one that caught them. Those other officers. How long ago did this happen? An hour ago or so, ish, maybe hour and a half ago. So what are they getting charged for again? Steal well, the other one's getting charged for stealing the vehicle, and then. Anthony's getting charged for trespassing a stolen vehicle and then resisting arrest. Was he resisting? Yeah, so they got out of the car and took off running. So, so. but once they caught him, he didn't caught him. No, no, no. So, yeah, I was it. So they they surrendered after they got caught and everything. So. And they're being transported to the Apple Yard. Yeah, the one off of Apple Yard there, the uh, Beyond County Jail. Okay.
Does TPD have a holding or like if someone, if it was early in the day, does the precinct by Lake Ella, does they have like booking or holding? Or no, 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 that's just so a station. We, yeah, say we'd only go up there if they were going for like an interview or something, but not something like this, we don't, we wouldn't take them for an interview. They're going straight to Leon you know, County Jail. So yeah, we, we don't have any like booking or anything at the station there. So, um, like I know you have seen yeah. this before, especially mm -hmm. in Tallahassee. Yeah. So like, what what's gonna uh, happen? Uh, like uh, at the court and all of this. So the court. Um, has he ever been arrested before? Yes. Um, it depends on his history, but I mean, it's two misdemeanors. Like, I mean, he's gonna get a bond, so probably. I, I can't say. I can't give you an honest answer because I, I don't. Work the court side well, of things, won't but be hell overnight until no, Monday to wait and see no, no, I'm saying not unless there's some other charge they were charging him with or something. What I'm, from what I know, he's only being charged with trespassing a stolen vehicle and then resisting arrest, which would be two misdemeanors, and he would get a bond from that. So if you don't mind me asking, do you know the other kid's name who was actually driving? It was a juvenile, so I can't really just say. Okay. But it's she did mention that I, I don't know if y'all reached out to her. She did okay. mention. So about yeah, so but okay. all right, no problem. Y'all take care. <laughs> not, Hello, how are y'all today? I'm also with the Todd Sports Department. All right, I'm gonna read you something real quick. And how old are you? 18. You're 18. Right. I'm gonna read you a couple things, and and I just you gotta be aware of what your rights are before I ask you. Some specific questions here. All right, your mom. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I am also with the Dallas Police Department. Okay. And you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk with a lawyer and to have him present with you, if you wish while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question. If you wish, you can decide to talk at any time to exercise these rights and do not answer any questions or make any statements. Okay? Do you understand each of these rights as I've read them to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Having these rights in mind, have you requested any of these deputies or other officers you spoke with for an attorney or a lawyer? No, sir. Okay. With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak with me now? Okay. Tell me what's going on. Um, I just had to start the truck and get back to Monticello. I need to ride to Monticello. And I had bought it back to Tallahassee last night. And the police just got behind me. So you, you stole a vehicle from Tallahassee to get back to Monticello? And you got back to Monticello. When did you? When did that occur? I got back to Monticello like four, five, four, five o'clock this morning, or yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. Yes, sir. Okay. You drove back to Monticello with the vehicle, no issues. Nobody tried to pull you over. Where did you steal it from? Um, over the by skateboard. I don't. This. That's what is that? Was it a business or a house or a... It was behind the building. I don't know. It was abandoned, but it was behind the building. Okay. I don't, How remember, did you... I don't remember what building it was. Okay. How did you steal it? I mean, were the keys in it? Was it unlocked? The keys were in it? Was it running? How did you find the keys? A um, couple. Yeah, a cup holder? Okay. What kind of vehicle was it? For I think it was an Expedition, I think. A Ford uh, Expedition? Uh, Explorer, well, I don't know which one it was. Okay, what color was it? Um, it was like a grayish uh, silver color. Uh, okay. Alright, so you drove that back to Monticello yesterday afternoon, and then you came back to Tallahassee? What time did you do, do that? Uh, what time did I get in Tallahassee? Yeah. Oh, about nine going on ten. Last night. 
Okay, is anybody with you last night when y'all came back to the last one? Okay, was it the two others that were that were caught last night? Okay, so who was driving when that happened? You were driving. Okay, so officers got behind you and tried to do a traffic stop on you. Okay, where was that at? I can't remember what road it was. It was over there by a hospital, though. I don't remember what side of town that was, but okay. it was like I made it like right, like I passed them all and everything. I, I was going to Cascades, but I had made a right. I had made a right down that road, so I don't even know what road that was. Okay. All right. So they got behind you. Turn their lights on. What happened after that? Uh, I hit the guy. I didn't. T I didn't take him on a long chase, but like it wasn't long. I just had. I hit the brakes and like we just ran. Just, just ran. Like how did you run? Did you I mean you stopped the car and got out or? Yes, sir. I stopped the car and got out. Okay. Where'd you run to? I can't remember. It was just. I, I jumped on the hill. I don't know. I don't know really why I was at. I don't know that side of town, but uh, someone behind the hill. Okay. How did you end up in Tallahassee yesterday to begin with? How did I didn't come to Tallahassee night before yeah. I took the uh my my cousin's name Marcelo he was, he was going to see his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. and he told him to drop me off at my mama's house. I was in Tallahassee for two days because he, he forgot to come back and get me. Okay. So you just needed to get on our way back to Monticello? Did you think about calling somebody? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. All right. It was like I was saying, officer. He, <coughs> he wanted to ride back to Monticello. Mm -hmm. Like I say, like I told him, his dad passed around this time. Mm -hmm. I always see a different change in him. And so, like, he never been in trouble, like, so or anything like that in Trump theory. But I just was, I'd be so concerned because, like, around his time, it's like he goes through a lot. Okay. And then I'm like, I just want you to, you know, stay home with me. Because, like I said, he graduated early. So when he got out of school, he decided he wanted to move with his friends. Okay. And so I was having for him to be back home with me. I got from home from work. His, my, his friend had dropped him off or whatever and was going to see the girl went to the movies with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So he had to come back and get him. And I was trying to keep him home. And he, he didn't want to stay home. It was like he said, he just got to go, you know. And like I said, around this time, they always were he uh, run away from home, you know what I'm saying? Right, right the time the post is there, everything was just a word. It goes down like this. Like I said, it never been to the point when stuff like this happened. And he was just run away, go stay with his friends, but that's when he was in school at the time. Mm -hmm. And go stay with his friends for a couple of days and he'll come back later on when you know, he feel like I have to go back home, there's no way I can survive or I can eat or stuff like that. But just like now, like I said, by graduating and just being out on his own way, he feel like I'm grown and I don't have to come back home because I'm finished with school. It's just like, I don't know. And like, his, his friend's birthday was yesterday, so that's why he was so busy. He was so busy trying to get back to Montezuma with the other guys to celebrate or whatever. I don't, I don't know, but I know when uh, his friend said his birthday was coming up, because I would tell him I said I want my son to come home or whatever to be home because I'm so used to them being there or whatever. Else. Like I just want him to come home, mm -hmm. and like I said, you can't make me do what you want. You know, I can just ask, but when they get that age. Okay. All right. And then he asked me, and I'm like, I did not end my turn now because I said I wanted him to be home. You know, come back home. And that's when he got mad, kind of. I got you. Come on. After the traffic stop and all ensued last night, how did you get home? Um, oh, I, didn't, I didn't go back home. I didn't go back home. All right, where, where did you wind up? I just, I stayed outside all night. I stayed outside all night. Mm -hmm. I ain't never go back home no more. Okay. How did you, how, how did mom find you? Where were you at? Um, I, I called her to come get me. No, she said, you might as well just 
turn yourself in. Okay. Right. She called me, and I just told her why I was at. He was walking when I picked him up. Where'd you pick him up at? It was more on like Tennessee Street somewhere. Up here by, I don't know if there's a taco bed that's sit on the corner or something like that. Like Basin Street up in there? Basin and. Uh, I'm Street. not really familiar with that. I'm from Mother's Like I said, all I know is that there's a park right here. Was there a Walmart there? No, it's not further down because I think I passed down the wall right now. It's been coming here. Right. It was further. It had to be Basin Street then. Okay. No, I know where Basin Street at. I wasn't on Basin Street. I know where that's now. But it wasn't on Basin Street? I know where Basin Street at. Alright, well, there's only two Taco Bells on Tennessee Street. One's at the Walmart and one's at Basin Street. Was it Appalachian Parkway? I wasn't going to the other one Tennessee Street when I picked up. I think it was between the Taco Bell area. I know I saw Taco Bell when I turned around. It was like at night I turned around and came back. It was like past the Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. It was some other restaurants. It was kind of further out when I left. I know it was a Chick-fil-A that's just on the opposite side of the mm -hmm. road. So it was like on that other side, the right hand side. If I'm coming from this way, I guess Chick Fil A might be on the right of me now. If I'm going back up to Tennessee Street, Tennessee okay. Street. All right, I know about the area you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Um, what time did you take that car yesterday? Did so you got back to Monticello about five o'clock? What time did you I take the car? About two, three. Okay. Well, it's it's not a three-hour drive to Monticello. Where'd you go from there? You saying like I thought to the truck? Yeah. Oh, I know that in three hour drop, yeah. I took the truck to Monticello and I, I was I was going to my homeboy house for his birthday. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in Monticello for a little while, like with him, but I, we was decided we was going to hang out because it's his birthday. Okay. So I said we could just go back to Tallahassee. We was supposed to go to Cascades. Mm -hmm. So about, about two or three o'clock, he said. That's when I. That's when you I went took. straight to Monticello, hung out with you guys for, for his birthday. And then you went home after that? I didn't go home. You didn't go home at all? I didn't go home until okay. my house period. Okay. And so the fellas you picked from Monticello, they had the two in the car? Yes, sir. Have you heard from them? Okay. All right, stand up for me. Go ahead and turn around. Here's what's going to happen. Okay, right now you're detained. Okay, until we decide on what we're going to do. Do you have anything on you I need to be aware of? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Guns, drugs, needles, paper blades, or anything like that? Not like that. Okay. All right. Stand by one. I'm going to lock these so they're not going to tighten up on you. Okay. All right. I'm going to patch you down real quick, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Your mama got your cell phone and all? Okay. Walk over here. We're gonna sit down over here and just, just so he's not right beside you, Mom. Okay. All right. Have a seat right there. All right. But he he doesn't know where. Yeah, he doesn't know where those other two are right now. They were his one of them's birthday. They were out celebrating one of his birthday. Unless unless he's been somehow conned into taking the rap for this to get one of them out of jail. Mama, can I come talk to you for a second? Uh, what's Kamari's address? I don't know where he was staying at. I said, because he's been from the post. Okay. Like, since he's graduated from school, he's he been out of house. How close was he with these two years ago last night? Well, one of them is his cousin, and the other one just where they graduated. All of them graduated together. Close enough to go to jail for him? Hmm. Close enough to go to jail for him? It is. I ain't going to say close enough to go to jail for him, mm -hmm. but I brought him. Because I, like I said, I prayed about it. Like I said, okay. I want you to do the right thing to tell yourself. They love you. Like, you know. They are. And the problem is, is the officer said there was only two of So, according to the officers, Kamari wasn't there. But, you know, I'm, I'm just a right person. I understand. And we, I, 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 
I appreciate you and I'm impressed with your integrity. And I just, well, I don't want my son, like I said, I didn't know where, because mm -hmm. I, I didn't, we never had to talk like this in our family. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want my son to be running and other stuff happening, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I pray about this son to turn himself free. I'll be honest. Because honestly, and the stuff with respect will take you a long ways. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they probably see but I know what other guys might say. And I like my heart go out to the way that's my cousin's son. Yes, ma'am. And I don't want nobody to come see him. Okay. All right. Let me go talk to him real quick. Um, um, where, where, where did you at? Is there a way y'all need to, you know, come out and talk? I'd just rather meet y'all somewhere because I got other kids. I don't know. What apartment number? Huh? What apartment? Oh, 1104. Hmm? 1104. 1104. Okay, does Kamara stay with you sometimes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He lives in Monticello still? Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright. Just you and me, Kamara. Were you driving that truck last night? Did you steal that truck? Did you run from the police last night? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? Is that why you ran? Yes, sir. Or is it because you need a stolen vehicle? Both. You ever been arrested before? Why all of a sudden? Did you start doing that last night? I didn't need a Hey, Sarge. Alright, here's what's going to happen today. Okay? Stand up for me. Turn around. You are not going to jail right now. That does not mean that you may not go to jail in the future. Okay? Right now, we're going to investigate this a little further. Um, as I explained to Kamari, he's not going to jail now. Does not mean it won't happen in the future. Okay, it depends on when our, our auto theft task force looks more into it. And I think they're going to want to interview the other two that were that were caught last night. Okay, um, here's my suggestion to you: stay at your mom's house, Tallahassee. Okay, that's that's just my hard and fast. Something you may want to do. Okay? That way if somebody needs to talk to you, they know where to go to talk to you. Okay? Fair enough? Alright. Y'all are good to go for the day. Okay? I understand you live in and get your mom. You go by whole rules, Yeah. I know you're 18, man. You're an adult. You gotta pay taxes and all that good stuff. But when mama's paying the rent, it's it's mama's way. Okay. We get you a job and get out and get your own place, it can be your way. Tell them all the time. Just, she's not lying. That's just the way life is. So, okay, Mama, do you have any questions? No, sir. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Y'all have a good day. Me too. to answer any of my questions without having a lawyer present. No, I just wanted to. I just came up here to tell you that I took the truck. Like that's uh. Um, You don't want to talk to me about that, but you want to tell me that you took the truck? Yeah. That's a little confusing for me. So, because you're telling me you don't want to talk, but you're telling me you took the truck. Yeah, that's what, that's what I just came up with, but just tell you about that. So, so, so. You don't want to tell me how, or you don't want to answer any of my questions? Well, I'll tell you how. Okay, so you'll answer my questions? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't want any questions about that, okay? So, tell me what happened. Just, just um, took the truck from somewhere in Tallahassee. Okay. Bought it back. Now. I took it to Monticello. Bought it back. The police got behind me. Just took him on a little chase, and that's it. Okay. So you're saying you were the driver of the truck during the chase? Not, not the other guy. I said I was the driver. Okay. Why would we believe that the other guy was the driver? See, he was arrested for being the driver. He was arrested for a bunch of stuff. So, can you, can you, I don't think they talked like you were talking to me. I think they both, 
the two people that we arrested. I think they both invoked and they didn't want to talk to us or talk to the officers or deputies on scene. So, because, I mean, you're taking the rap for it and you're trying to be the bigger man to make sure someone doesn't go down for what you did. And I really appreciate that and I'm sure they're going to appreciate that too. So, because I'm still waiting on a call back from the trooper that saw everybody exit from the truck to be like, did you, what's going on here? You know, did, if he saw you exit and says, yeah, I saw you, or if he saw your your friend deck, I don't know if he's your friend or not, but saw the other guy exit. Were those people with you when you took the truck? No? You took the truck by yourself? Where'd you pick them up at? You don't remember? Was it in Tallahassee? In Monticello? No? I don't know about that. You're, you're done? do whatever you want to do with that, okay? If that's if that's the way this ends up going down. 